Provisions of the Basic Conditions of Employment Act regulating parental leave have been found to be unconstitutional. The High Court in Johannesburg says they unfairly discriminate based on whether a baby is born to the mother, conceived by surrogacy, or even adopted. Let's discuss this further with Senior Associate from the Norton Rose Fulbright Law Firm. Laura McFarlane joins me now uh, for this conversation. Laura, thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you. Uh, your, your company was uh, representing the Commission for gender equality. I mean, where did this all begin? Thanks very much for having me. Yes, the Commission for Gender Equality was represented by Northern Rose Fulbright, and CGE was really concerned with the parental leave provisions in South Africa and the imposition that they put on biological mothers to be the primary caregiver. Prior to this judgment and prior to it being confirmed, only mothers, biological mothers, got four months parental leave, and that meant generally the couple would make the decision based on economical reasons that the mother would stay home with the child. Mm, mm. And the CG really was concerned about the impact of that on economic opportunities for women. And secondly, you mentioned correctly that adoptive parents and those commissioning parents, or what they call to have a child through surrogacy, had less leave. And the commission was also concerned about that. So they came to us and together with other applicants took a constitutional challenge to right. the legislation. Right. Uh, uh, just as, as a follow up to that, Laura, I mean, the interim relief also allows then for all parents, right? Not just the mother, all parents, greater flexibility in how they choose to care for their children. Just please provide further clarity and explanation to that regard. Sure. So you, you correct. The, the court found that it unfairly discriminated based on, on gender and parenthood. And how it provides for greater flexibility now is that a couple has four months between themselves for parental leave to, in which to care for their child. And they can decide how to use that. It might mean that a biological mother still takes four months, um, but it might mean the parents share two months, two months. Um, and that's any parents, adoptive parents, commissioning parents, fathers. So it really puts the choice in the couple's hands of how they want to split their care, child care giving roles, um, which which is really great. And if it's a single parent, uh, that parent will have access to the full four months, which is really important. For example, if someone dies during childbirth, previously the father would only be entitled to his two weeks paternity leave, and now he'd have access to the full four months. Right. Under the same breath, also the judgment, Laura, is to be welcomed in that it advances gender equality and recognizes the importance of, you know, adoption and surrogacy arrangements, right? So this is in accordance with international best practice. Are there accessible guidelines in place currently for the disadvantaged? There's not a huge amount of guidelines in place at the moment, and that's some of the problems we'll see if this judgment is confirmed, because remember, this is not implemented yet. Um, it still needs mm. to go to the Constitutional Court. Um, but hopefully Parliament will then institute regulations uh, during the period once the judgment is confirmed by the Constitutional Court to give further guidelines, because at the moment the couple needs to make the decision. That might create some issues. Employers will require proof from both um, parties on who's taking leave and that again might create some complications about further regulation and guidance um, and we also might see disputes related to what happens if only one party is employed does that mean that the couple still only has four months or can they mm. um, how is that split going to be recognized uh, there are also some issues with it which we can take you through later which we might see some appeals on the judgment as well where parties didn't get all the relief that they were looking for yeah, it's all right. Appeals, as you've mentioned, are also maybe imminent. Laura, thank you so much for joining us and speaking to us about this. Laura McFarlane, Senior Associate at Norton Rose Fulbright.